Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm so super excited because I'm participating in a collaboration called Summer Sips, Eats, and Sweet, hosted by Easy Living with Elle, Multifaceted Me, and Create with Cindy. Thanks so much, ladies, for hosting this collab. So guys, this was a lot of fun to participate in. And so the ladies asked us to create some summer sweet items. And so I was um, happy to join in on this because I wanted to share something that is a hit in my family with my little kids. And so it is the, I have it here, a watermelon pizza. <laughs> That's right, we have a watermelon pizza here. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I create the watermelon pizza, then just keep watching. Okay guys, for this super easy dessert, we're going to be using some fresh fruit. So I have an apple, a banana, blueberries, and grapes, along with some mint sprigs, some honey, and Greek yogurt, and of course the star of the show, the watermelon. Now we'll cut the watermelon in rounds, so I'm just cutting the end off here. And once I get that off, I will cut about an inch thick round. And this will be our base for the pizza. Now I'm going to just put the pizza, or the watermelon rather, on a plate. And I've cut the watermelon into sections just like a pizza. So it's little wedges there. But I want to keep it all together so it'll stay in its circular shape. Now I'm just going to spoon on top um, some of the Greek yogurt in the center and just spreading it out to the sides but not covering all of the the pink portion of the watermelon. I still want some of that part to show. Now we have a nice even coating. I'm going to just top that with some honey. Just a little bit there. And now I'll just add the fruit on to our pizza. And you can just kind of place it however you want, wherever you want. And you can use any fruit that you would like. But these are all the fruit items that I have at home already. So I thought it would be just fine. But if you wanted to add strawberries or kiwi, that would be really probably yummy as well. And you could also add um, like shaved nuts or um, crushed nuts on top, but Addison has a nut allergy, so we will not be adding nuts to ours. So I'm just kind of sprinkling everything on top, and you can see it's kind of taking shape and starting to look like a pizza with all the toppings. And I'm just cutting up some of the grapes in half, although all of the other ones are just whole grapes there. So it would be totally up to you if you wanted to cut them in halves or leave them as holes. Now I'm just adding a few pieces of uh, mint right in the center, just for garnish. And now we'll top the pizza off with a little bit more honey just for a little bit added sweetness. And there you have it, our delicious watermelon pizza. Guys, this is a fun way to have kids enjoy fruit. If they really don't like to eat fruit much, this is a fun way to get them to eat the fruit and maybe even help you out in the kitchen making it. Here's another view. And guys, it smells so delicious also. This would be perfect to take to a picnic. You know, we have 4th of July coming up. It would be an easy, quick dessert for that. And I've taken a slice out and put it on the plate. And it's easy to take out. You just pick it right up and sit it on your plate. And it looks perfect. Looks like a slice of pie. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, this is so delicious, guys. And a lot of fun, too. It's a fun way to eat your fruit. <laughs> Now I'm going to serve a piece to my little guy. And I have to say guys, he really enjoyed it too. And I did have the audio on for him, but I had to take it out because the television was really loud. He was watching one of his shows and so I didn't want to have that in the background. But you can see he's enjoying his watermelon pizza. <laughs> he's like, it's delicious. <laughs> So that's when he's telling me how much he like it. <laughs> and he didn't want to share it with his big brother. I said, do you want to share it with your big brother? And he was shaking his head, no. <laughs> so yeah, he said it's so yummy. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me comments down below to let me know if this is a sweet treat that you would try out for your family. Also, um, let me say a big thank you so much to all of the ladies hosting this challenge. Thank you so much for hosting. This has been so much fun participating. If you are new here from one of the other ladies' channels, welcome. I'm so, so happy to have you here. I hope that you have enjoyed this video enough to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. For my faithful family members, you guys know I love you so, so much, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. And let me remind you, too, to be sure to check out the playlist of all the participants and the hostesses for this collab. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.